Well, I, I tend to like the Oreos to be just a little bit warm because when they're a little warm, they're easier to kind of twist. You gotta grab it by the end, right? And you gotta put it, you gotta use it kind of like a spoon to where you wanna get it into the milk for two to three seconds and you just pop it really quick. So you still have the crunch, but you also got that sogginess of the milk being absorbed. Um, but actually my absolute favorite way to do it is the wishbone way. Um, I like to do the wet wishbone technique, which is where Matt can come in here. There's Matt. So each person takes a side and whoever winds up with the cream is the one that wins. So <laughs> he definitely got more than I did. But in the end, we both win. Welcome everyone to another episode of Gamer Grub. Gamer Grub. Gamer Grub. Gamer Grub. Yes. <laughs> My name is Brandon. I am the main guy here at Retro Spectrum. And beside me is... My name is Matt Harmro. I'm the head honcho at Cast Revive. And as always, if you're interested in checking out the stuff that we do, be sure to check out the comments section below. We have some links to the Cast Revive podcast, and of course, subscribe to Retro Spectrum. Gamer Grub is a special series that we do that highlights two things that we love. Retro video games. Junk food. <laughs> and we like to dub this this show are the, the internet's first ever Let's Play, Let's Eat. Love it. We have to decide which is better. Junk food or video games. Junk food or video games. <laughs> and today is, is one that I'm really looking forward to. Today's yeah. going to be an exciting one. We're actually going to compare Echo the Dolphin. 27 levels of danger, mystery, and beauty all through the eyes of a dolphin. Simply brilliant. Versus <laughs> Swedish fish Oreos. I have so many questions. Is it really from Sweden? Why is it red? What kind of fish is it anyway? I wonder what it tastes like. I, I like Swedish fish. Yeah, so do I. I. And I don't know of a person who likes Oreos more than you. Yeah, no. So I, it Very stands cute. a really good chance, but. Echo the Dolphin is one of, I, I, I enjoy the game immensely. It is one of Matt's all time. Going up against games. some strong nostalgia here, so it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting competition. There's nothing else to do. We're just gonna get right down to it and play us some Echo the Dolphin. So, for those of you who haven't played Echo before, it's called Echo the Dolphin. You're a dolphin. There's and a lot to this game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like some of the best games out there that don't have a specific genre that they fit in. It just does a lot of things really well. And the, the hardest thing about this game is it's not so much like the story or the puzzle. It's, it's the movement and the control. Yes. Because it's, you know, you're in, you're in water. So it's not like yeah. you're like, okay, I'm just going to stop and stand still. And wait. Like, you're constantly yeah. moving and you can't just stop on a dime. So the angles and, and speed and everything make, take a huge part in this game. Okay, now I've in, I've got encased with the power, so he's got the gem power. Yeah, you have to <laughs> you have to get these things to unlock other crystals in the way. So when yeah. you get it and you tap it, the crystals will move away. And uh, now the hard part comes of trying to navigate trying to navigate the maze out of here. Now Echo, not actually a dolphin, though. I mean, it's called right. Echo the dolphin, but in fact, yeah, Echo's an alien. Is it? It's an alien. Yeah. Yes. The soundtracks in these games are some of the best soundtracks you'll find in uh, video games in general. Absolutely. The Echo games have just phenomenal soundtracks. Now you got a couple different things you have to keep an eye on for this game. Um, air. Yes. Air is a huge factor. So your other bar is a health bar. There we go. And there you go. Okay. You'll slowly start lo losing <laughs> health uh, if you run out of air. All right, so we made it to the under caves, and that's where it said, okay, now this is where the game like really begins. That was a little test. So tell us what you're doing here. What are you trying to accomplish? So right here, we want to, we have to get through here. So, and the only way to do that, there's these little conch shells right here that apparently hold some kind of power that remove rocks for some reason. So ultimately, you're gonna, you want to push it and time it to where It'll, you can tap it over here and remove some of these blocks. So here's my question for you. Is there anything to tell you that? No. So it's just trial and error? This game is all trial and error. Mm. There we nice. go. Nice. All five. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. So um, that was super easy. <laughs> Jeez. Full Come on, leave me alone. Full on oxygen, pretty well on health. No boat. 
puffer fish. Uh, All right, here we go. Very slow. Yeah, shoot him up. Let him know you're coming. Shoot, now you're like overly cautious. This sucks. Oh, fuck. Ooh, see how hard he hit? How much did he take off? He took off like three squares. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Find some O2! You made it fine. Oh, shoot. Look at them all! <laughs> this is. Oh my gosh, and no air. Oh my gosh. No! All right, so, Echo the Dolphin. Beautiful game, difficult to master. See, it's one of those games that gets addicting. It's like, okay, now I know what I got, where I gotta go, what I yeah. gotta do, and I wanna go back and do it. But those damn puffer fish. Well, I worked up an appetite. I did too. Swedish Fish Oreos. It has a really unique package. Uh, it's, it's, Supposedly red Oreos, which we'll see in a minute. I mean, I shouldn't say that. The cookie itself looks like an Oreo cookie. The filling is red, and then it's got the Swedish fish on. I, again, I love Swedish fish. I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised. First off, right off the bat, I'm getting hit by like a smell. It, uh, what, how would you describe that smell? <laughs> <coughs> Not good. I mean, would, I'm, I'm going with uh, I'm going with spray paint. Yeah, this is like. It, it doesn't really, I don't know if it smells like a Swedish fish. I mean, it smells like two things that shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't go together. Wow. To be honest with you. There's your Oreo. Standard Oreo, but then on the inside you got that beautiful red filling. Which I will say, it's pretty. It's pretty, it doesn't smell pretty. It doesn't smell pretty, but it does it, look, it looks really like, pretty. It looks like an Oreo. The good thing is there's, there's there's a nice thickness of the filling, so not like they skipped out. Yeah, yeah you know, no. so this is neat. This is neat. I'm I'm excited. All right, all right. There we go. <laughs> that tastes like that really does taste like a straight up Swedish fish in between two Oreo cookies. <laughs> oh man, that's 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 foul. No, it's different. You know what? I will say this. Licorice and chocolate. Holy no. That sits in the back of your mouth. I'll, I'll be honest, it's a little weird to look at on the inside of this. I don't know. It looks like Play Doh. Let's start with uh, visuals. Okay. Let's start with visuals. Uh, visuals, uh, I'll go for the cookie first. Uh, the visuals for the cookie. Um, overall, I mean, the packaging is beautiful. If nothing else, the cookie is interesting to look at. To see an Oreo cookie with red filling, I mean, that that caught that caught my attention right off the bat when we did yeah. it. So, um, I, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna say thumbs up for the for the um, visuals for the, the, the uh, Swedish Fish Oreo. Yeah. How did you feel about the game? I love the lighting, you know, you know, as the deeper you go underwater, there's actually a darkness to the screen. Yeah. So it, it really, you know, it really showcases that, you know, you're losing that lack of sunlight. So it's, it's really cool, really, what they did. And yeah. uh, the consi considering the, the time, what they were, what the system was able to do, and uh, came out a yeah. very smooth uh, looking game. Echo, Echo fully utilized all the graphic capabilities of the Sega Genesis yep. to perfection. Um, and so I would say Echo just beats out Oreo for me. How do you feel? I agree. That? I agree a hundred percent. All right So next we got to talk about innovation. Let's start with Echo for this one. Echo pretty innovative game Oh, yeah, I mean with the controls, you know um, We already talked about the visuals the controls like he said just we're unlike, huge. unlike anything else. Yeah, unlike I mean, try, try, trying to simulate how you move underwater, yeah. and as and as a dolphin, you know, yeah. like you know, so two things that that hadn't been done on the system, and to be able to do them so perfectly, yeah. um, and it's just, you're, you're an alien dolphin. I mean, like that's that opens up a whole new world, you know, yeah. of things that that that, that can storyline. Yeah, story. story I mean, just, Completely new, completely different. Echo was innovative in a good way, while maybe the Swedish Fish Oreo might be innovative in not so good of a way. Yeah, I mean, Echo innovation, other games have taken from that and used it. No one's going to take from <laughs> you know it and use it yes. down the line. Yes. So, in my opinion, Echo gets the, gets Echo the check mark. Echo definitely gets the check mark, and I think. And uh, it will probably be unanimous in the in the next category, which is overall <laughs> enjoyment. enjoyment. We'll just play, put it out there, plain and simple. 
I did not enjoy the Swedish Fish Oreo in the sense that it was interesting to try, but I will never eat one again. Right. I, I, I no, absolutely the same. I mean, I enjoyed it more when I ate the cream separate from it. Yeah. But when you put them together, it was not a match made. In and I think it was, it's something to be say, said about it. You know, it's only available in a couple locations. Yeah. So maybe it is only supposed to be enjoyed as an experience. Yeah. Experience. And it was. It was. It was when experience. I'm glad that we got a chance to try, but yeah. something that I, I probably like. It saddens me to see that that will probably go to waste the rest of that. <laughs> we'll find some people. We'll find some suckers. <laughs> Echo the dolphin is the winner. Now, if you guys are Echo fans, and you agree with us on this one, you know, this Echo's a great game, and uh, the Swedish Fish Oreo sounds questionable. If you agree with us, will you do us a favor? Will you go down to that like section and give us a little bit of a thumbs up, because you agree with us. Um, but if you are a Swedish Fish Oreo fanatic, and Echo the Dolphin, <laughs> or Echo, Echo the Dolphin <laughs> sounds like something you've never even heard of, um, go ahead and, and give us a dislike. Tell us, tell us if you don't agree with us. We want to hear. Likes, dislikes, we want to know. That's right. Um, and if you have any other thoughts or you have ideas for future episodes of Game or Grub. I've got a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got more than a few. Uh, go ahead and leave us a comment in the comment section below and we'll see what we can do. Love it. So until next time, we'll see you later. Peace. I don't know about you, but I want to get the taste out of my mouth. So I, I got some. Session? I got some. Yeah, make out session. No, I got some for you. I got some chewing gum, but not just any chewing gum. Oh God! I got you some Swedish fish. No chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> no way! We'll see. We'll see how this helps with the. Why would you do that? <laughs> we'll see. It tastes like eating a Swedish fish, yeah. just in gum form. Hmm. I can't believe you did this to me. <laughs> Try it and come. Swedish fish flavor. What is going on here? What what is the sudden sudden surge of Swedish fish items? It's gonna be Swedish fish toothpaste next. It's like the British invasion. It's the opposite. It's the Swedish invasion. No Swedish fish. Mm. <laughs> Not too bad. Echo right. still wins. Echo <laughs> still wins. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.